Tonight, we're getting a better look at the impact of learning at home. The Texas Education Agency says one in 10 students didn't turn in assignments or lost contact with their teachers during those months that they were all being done online. That disengagement rate was even higher for black and Latino students. KXAN's Eugene Cho spoke with parents and education nonprofits about those concerns. It was definitely really weird. Um, it was definitely hard to adjust. Two. No group projects, just a lot of worksheets. I like to like interact and do projects. So when I was doing online learning, it was hard. I miss my friends. Bella's mom, Jennifer Sines, says leading virtual learning for Bella and her older brother was no walk in the park. She also questions how much students were really learning, even when they were considered fully engaged by the TEA. My 15 year old was completely disengaged. I mean, it was um, did not feel like the work that he was getting was challenging him. He felt like it was work from middle school. The TA says pre-K students had the highest rate of missing assignments and losing contact. Children who enter kindergarten behind, unfortunately, research shows have a tendency to stay behind. 80 to 90 percent of children who start behind will stay behind. Waterford.org has a summer program. Zipper. It gives parents tools to combat learning loss. Do you like doing your computer school? Mm -hmm. Education nonprofit E3 Alliance says we won't immediately know the long term effects of last semester's learning loss. I think we're all waiting with bated breath to see what's going to happen over the next couple months. But with virtual learning still being an option for fall, parents like Jennifer, who also works for E3, hope for improvement. I think my biggest concern is the level of professional development and resources and training are we providing our teachers? so that they really walk into the fall semester feeling confident. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Now we asked Austin ISD about this TEA report. District officials told us the so-called COVID slide is a concern to everyone in the field of education. The Department of Academics is designing resources for teachers to use this fall.